but let's go back to the fall foliage because I know that's my favorite part of the entire season and off towards the north. Yes, we are at peak of that fall color, especially in the northern Vermont, New Hampshire, as well as northern Maine. So if you're heading up there, be sure to take a lot of photos and then also share them with us and we'll be sure to share them on air as well. So if you are heading up towards the north through the holiday weekend, here's a view of that forecast. We're tracking the clouds though, both today and tomorrow, mid to upper 50s. But notice we'll see some more sunshine today far off into northernmost parts of Maine and more sunshine is expected across northernmost parts of New England on Monday. Now we'll allow those temperatures to warm up into the mid to mid upper 60. So we'll be quite mild as we get towards Monday. But back here locally into southern New England, look at that sprinkle early this morning, but many locations are now dry, but those clouds will still linger. Low 60s today, also low 60s tomorrow with the potential for some showers developing later on in the day. I'm thinking closer towards dinner time, so we'll likely see a few more of those scattered showers pushing through. Monday, a lingering sprinkle in the morning, and then we should be a okay through the day just in time for the Boston Marathon. Here's a view of storm scan though right now. We're tracking the clouds across much of southern New England, but we do have a breeze and that breeze mainly coming in out of the east. So coupled up with the cloud cover and those winds coming in out of the east between five and closer to 15 miles per hour. We're talking uh, temperatures a little bit on the cooler side compared to the last several days with that easterly wind. We're also noticing the cloud cover streaming in from the ocean, but we're also noticing some higher level clouds moving in from the south and west. So really uh, tackling in some more cloud cover through the day today with that combination. Talking about temperatures, mid upper 50s off towards the north and west, right around 64 for Boston. Those 60s are from Boston area south and east down towards the Cape and the islands as well. And along our immediate coastline today, we do have a coastal flood advisory. That's around high tide this afternoon, so we could see some isolated road closures with that minor splash over associated with that high tide on some of those low lying coastal roadways. So heads up about that. By noon today, we're tracking the cloud cover for much of the region. Maybe could see some peaks of sun here and there, but likely the clouds will be dominating through the day today. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're waking up to some clouds again. So the clouds will be sticking around for your Sunday. And then looking ahead towards, say, later Sunday afternoon into the early evening, could see the potential chance for some scattered showers, those pushing in from the south. It's also see with this low pressure that's down towards our south, that will continue to slide its way slightly northbound. And then as we get towards Monday morning, it will push its way out to sea. So early Monday, you have that chance for a spot sprinkle or two, but then where you should be tracking drier conditions for that Fenway forecast tomorrow evening. We're looking at mainly cloudy skies. We are, can't roll that chance for a few showers though through the game by Monday, though we're looking at dry conditions and temperatures into the low 60s at first pitch. Here's a view of the rest of that seven day forecast. So for the Boston Marathon on Monday, a few sprinkles are possible at the starting line, but through the day we should see a gradual clearing of those skies and could even see some more sunshine by the end of the race. Upper 60s Monday, then that is followed by 70s and some partly cloudy skies as high pressure returns through the end of that next work week.